Manjana from uh, Gandhian School of Natural Farming, Tunku. Today I would like to present a, a case study. The science has to be always experienced to the case study. This is a definition. I need not to uh, get into the definition of this, but because a lot of people from the morning have discussed about the definition of natural farming. This is Mr. Ravish, who had dug 23 bovels in 5.5 acres of land. So he has lost 23 bovels and his mindset was, I need to quit the farming. So in that intervention, 2017, we started this natural farming process in this land. So initially we started putting this earthenet husk, which is a waste material in our Dumkor area. Almost one feet earthenet husk was done. And we started aligning the rib irrigation every four feet. Arcanet is 9 into 9 feet crop, but we align for 4 feet. The thought process is that we are taking care of the soil and the soil in turn takes care of the crop. So you can see here, we are putting certain seeds, we are dipping certain seeds of pulses, of oil seeds and whatever, including the grass seeds. Just to make sure that uh, some life will originate out of it. The right side you can see that so certain life is originating over there, some plants are getting sprouted over there. So here, this is now, the farming today is about after five and after six years, this is how the farm is about. So this is called the potential yield, the variety attaining the maximum yield per acre or per unit area of land. So we are attaining almost 180 to 200 nuts per plant. Initially 2017 back, it was something around 30 to 35 nuts. So not only Erkanet, we are getting a fantastic yield of, not, uh, not only coconut, I'm saying Erkanet, there are turmeric, there are cocoa. A lot of these commercial plants are being integrated with this system. So uh, apart from this main crop, we are also having a lot of incomes from the biodiversity crops like banana, like milli, you know, avocados, and gooseberries and a lot of uh, root crops. So Excel sheets are done the Excel sheet later on. So processing, we believe the cottage industry and the agriculture are the two faces of the same coin. In order to create the economy, agriculture do not support farmers will not get good income from agriculture. He needs to get into this cottage industries. So we believe the processing is very important. We process cashew nut, we process cocoa beans, we process turmeric and so on, XYZ. So from these, just in a span of four years, three to four years, from 23 bovels, I see uh, four bovels got originated and now in 2023, eight bovels have got originated. I'm not saying that only through natural farming we are achieving it, we are going to have good rain for all so that also helps a lot. How did we achieve this and what is the science behind this? It's very important to go with solution this. So this is basically a cover crop called sweet potato. We have got turmeric, everything. This what, cover crop is fantastic, everyone knows it. Uh, microbial activity will be enhanced, the bulk density will be taken care of it, porosity will be increased. Now, this year we made an experiment, we inserted a probe, temperature probe inside, we got something around 27 degrees Celsius. The outside means the neighborhood farms in the monocropping system, we got something around 50 degrees soil temperature. Everyone knows that soil uh, temperature increases with the increase in the temperature. With this cover cropping system, the bulk density which was something around 2.2, now it is something around 1.18. This is a, a aggregation, so it has uh, got the aggregation capacity. With this uh, cover cropping system, it's a diff I can't take the coconut uh, plant and show you. I can show you the paddy where the root proliferation is fantastic. The directly imparts on the panic initiation, those yield of the crop. The right side is a chemical farm and the left side is a natural farm crop. Directly uh, go with the panic initiation and the yield of the crop. We got almost 62% uh, more grain yield and uh, almost 200 percent increase the straw yield for the parents personally. First one is a cover crop, second we use uh, milk microbes. We take the milk, fresh uh, cow milk and the jaggery and then rice starch and then we ferment about uh, 10 to 15 days and we will get a lot of record on uh, PHP and surmanas. This is a proven technique. We use KVK Tumku to get the soil test. The other will get the micro. That next is the kombucha. It's an association of the yeast and bacteria and this is a very age-old technique and we take the mother culture and then decoction and jaggery we ferment again for 30 to 35 days this is excellent for bacterial infection this is fermented buttermilk we use the copper especially the copper i mean to say you can see apart from this 
in Britain, we're getting permanent retin. We'll get some uh, fantastic copper liquid solutions, which is helpful for the uh, flower initiation, for the pollen formation. So this is the fish crabs we use with the jaggery, so that fish along with the jaggery is a fantastic amino acids. To quote an example like lysine, aspartic acid, solution, histone, and glutamic acids, and lysines. We use the space also for the soil application. So this is Kunapajanda. You can refer the uh, Agriculture Heritage of India book were written by Vail Lini, he is an ICR scientist. So this is a Kunapajanda extracted from animal fat, plant leaves and also uh, the oil seeds, topping of the ghee. This is fermented for about 30 to 35 days. Compost, everyone uh, knows that compost is a mixture of acids, hormones, metabolites, and we use compost very frequently, every six months once, every, well, because in the time of climate change, we do not use the compost once at a time, we use spread dosage. This is Panchagavya, everyone knows that this is Panchagavya, this is excellent for lipid synthesis. I am just uh, giving the information that, in my experience, Panchagavya, 21 to 22 days roughly, the energy levels of Panchagavya is fantastic for the uh, flowering station. So we see biosynthesis happens in the four stages. There is something called Levick law of theory, like 17 essential nutrients, but there is another theory called biosynthesis theory. We go with the photosynthesis, protein and carbohydrate synthesis, acid and lipid synthesis, and secondary metabolite synthesis. In order to get this photosynthesis, see the leaf area, it's more than almost 7 feet and 8 feet. The girth is fantastic and the color. This photosynthesis can be achieved by spray of the compost liquids, Kunapajara, cover claw, and then regular application of compost, and the fallen leaves and twigs which acts as a lignin compost. Protein and carbohydrate synthesis, we go with the fish amino acids, egg amino acids, diluted fruit solutions, and also the potato or any of the carbohydrate solutions. Third is the acid and lipid synthesis. It happens by milk, milk microbes, panchagavya, kombucha, and then buttermilk. Second metabolite, this is very important. A lot of our hybrids and GMOs are losing today with the nutrition is concerned. This nutrition can be attained only by the local seeds and local animals. And then quality composting, don't disturb the topsoil, we we'll use the zinc and calcium. Only the soft uh, growing tip of the uh, roots are absorbing the calcium basically. So we we'll don't disturb the topsoil and we go with the cover cropping system. These are four uh, different sectors of seeing the nutrition in terms of natural farmers and sickness. So, Ravish, before 2017, he was having 120 coconuts and 360 earthnut, and his economics was 1,44,000. His uh, gross income, the production cost, he was losing the agricultural income. So now, with this intervention in three to four years, coconuts are 120, earthnut 360, it means constant, and we are integrated turmeric, cocoa, banana, avocado, honey. This is a major sector and apart from the biomass crops, biomass and the biodiversity crops are there. I am not taking that into consideration. That will be taken as a family or the uh, nutrition, local nutrition is concerned. With this, we are attaining 150 nuts per day, alpine 13 quintals. You can see two quintals over there. Now we are attaining 13 quintals over there. Turmeric and everything else which goes to 16 lakh 80,000 rupees. So we are taking the help of KVK to understand the quality also. This is a quantification. This is a quality test done by the again KVK Atankur. You can see the pH 7.11 which is neutral now. It was 7.86 initially, now it is 7.11 and then the EC is 0.27 and the uh, Ingala means I mean to say organic carbon is 2.08. Do you know what was uh, so in carbon, it was 0.11 initially when we started the degraded land, it's now 2.08. I'm more focused on the micronutrients than the macronutrients. Uh, I, I read a lot of the books of China agriculture, what they do is that they focus more, whether chemical or natural or organic, they focus more on the micronutrients, but we focus only on NPK. Now for me, working on micronutrients, especially natural farming, is very important. The pest control. We uh, go with the, uh, uh, we are good in coconuts basically, we suffer from a lot of fungal diseases. There's a Vrikshara the technique, our technique has been copied by ICR mice also. A lot of people know that, a lot of extracts are used for mites, for the tricks, for the aphids, we use different leaf extracts next. So for the biting type of mouth pod, especially Lipidopterans, we use charcoal dust and then lime dust, turmeric and then salt dust. This is very important for the Lipidopteran pest early in the morning when the dew means 4.30 to 6 o'clock when they're due or just broadcast on the surface of the leaves, they will take up the recruitments. These are the pics taken in our ashram. So, I mean to say, there are a lot of entities are there, a lot of micro elements are there. They are very precise, doctor was saying that, madam was saying that, they are highly precise. And uh, we should not do, we cannot conduct their duty basically. 
So let they perform their duty, let we have a minimum intervention in agriculture. In order to get this potential yield, I think these micro elements are very essential. So we also now working with the Panchayatra system in uh, Chikna Now in 2024, we are focusing on East Dr. Loganathan, who are uh, yeah, from KVK, he got the national award also for the watershed activity. So in 2024, we are aiming at 540 farmers, and in 2028, we are aiming at 10,500 farmers. This is a Panchayat People's Movement what we are trying to do with the nine departments. So we are also working with the women groups, that's a very important 70% more agriculture called by women. So we also work with the college students, school students, in order to understand this necessary lifestyle. I do work for the system change in agriculture, I'm from the morning we are working on that process. Next. Last I need to say, you can go drama, you can go Krishna or Buddha. They spend most of their time with the ecology. This ecocentric lifestyle is very important to understand the spirituality. I can't sit in AC showrooms and say like that for spiritual index and all it's just a story. To in order to utilize the spirituality, we need to work in the ecosystem which which be there with the nature. I need to thank everyone for this